Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Since I've just filmed a tutorial on how to make a DIY fuchsia ombre, I thought it would have been helpful to make a video with all my tips and tricks uh, and uh, frequently asked questions about my hair, how I maintain it, if I have to cut it when I don't want the ombre anymore. As for the tutorial, all the pics that you'll see in this video have been taken by my friend Ansa, which is an amazing photographer, and uh, I'll leave the links to her Flickr account and her Instagram in the info box down below. Obviously, I'm not a hairdresser, I'll just give you my suggestions and my opinions opinions and I'll tell you what worked for me. But the first suggestion I give you is to go to your hairdresser to make your hair ombre because uh, that's her job, that's what she does all day long and she'll probably know more about it than me. Now let's move on to the questions. First question, how does it work? Well I've bleached the tips of my hair and then I dyed it with a semi-permanent uh, hair dye by Stargazer in magenta and a little bit of violet and uh, here is the tutorial in case you missed it. How long does it take? For the whole process, I've spent three hours. How long does it last? Well, it's a semi-permanent hair dye, so it fades a little bit with each wash. This is my hair after the third wash, and I have to say that it stays vibrant like this for um, up to four or five washes, and then it fades a little bit. It goes away completely with a dozen washes or something more. It is not just the shampoo that makes it go away, but also the water, so if you're going to the swimming pool or to the beach, make sure to wear a rubber cap so you protect your hair. How's left the hair when the color fades away? When it fades away, you'll have the same color that you had when you bleached your hair, so in my case it would be a dark blonde. Does it ruin your hair? Yes, of course. Uh, the bleaching especially tends to stress a lot your hair and as soon as you wash it away you'll feel your hair a little bit rough uh, and dry. And this is the first reason why I suggest you to go to your hairdresser to make an ombre hair because uh, she uses products that are better quality than those you'll find at a supermarket. I've solved this problem with uh, leave-in conditioner and some hydrating masks and uh, if you want to know more about my hair care routine please let me know in the comments down below. Do I have to cut my hair afterwards? It's not a must, uh, but you have to keep in mind that you'll have darker hair and then lighter hair and that your tips will be a little bit ruined and so it would be better to cut your hair and uh, healthier. Does it stain your clothes? Absolutely not if your hair is dry, but it tends to lose a little bit of color when it's wet. If you don't use a hair dryer, just put a towel on your shoulders. If you're outside and it starts raining, protect your hair so it doesn't get wet. Or if it gets wet, don't let it drip on your clothes. If you're doing sports or you're sweating, just pull your hair up in a ponytail so that you don't get a fusion neck. Does it stain your sheets? Same as before. If your hair is dry, it can't stain anything. Can I wash the stains away from my clothes? You can try to do that because it is a semi-permanent dye and it should go away with some washes but for example I tried to wash the t-shirt that I used for my tutorial and instead of having big stains now it's just sort of a pinkish color. How do you maintain a vibrant color? I just dye my hair again when it gets to vanish. What did you use? I used High Cover 40 Volumes Bleach and Stargazer semi-permanent hair dye in magenta and violet. How much does it cost and how long will the products last? Well, for the bleach I spent 6 euros, but you can store the mixture, you just have to throw away everything you don't use. While for the hair dye I spent 6 euros and 50, but a bottle lasts for about 3.5 times. What happens if I don't bleach my hair? Well, the color won't be this vibrant, it'll just be like a reflection on your natural hair color. If I have blonde hair, do I have to bleach it? Well, of course, blonde hair is already clear, so the color will show even if you don't bleach it. But I would recommend using a purple shampoo, which is a shampoo that helps you remove the yellow in your blonde, so you get sort of a whitish blonde or silver hair. And this would be the perfect base if you want to dye your hair. How do I get my hair pastel? You have to start with a very light base, like a super light blonde or a whitish blonde. So, if you're blonde, I would recommend using a purple shampoo to remove the yellow from your hair. If you have dark hair, I would recommend bleaching it, and for this I would go to the hairdresser, especially if you wanna do the full head. And then I would use a purple shampoo, and at this point, to make them pastel, you just have to mix some conditioner with the color you like. How long do I have to keep the dye on my hair? Well, on the instructions it says from 15 to 30 minutes depending on the intensity that you want. I usually keep it on my hair for about 45 to 50 minutes. Last piece of advice, 
If it turns out uh, in a way you don't like or you made a mistake, go to your hairdresser because she'll know what to do. My favorite question, why did you do that? Well, I've always wanted to try colored hair, I've always loved it on everybody else. But in 2012 I was working as a shop assistant in a clothes store and the atmosphere wasn't just young and I was afraid the fuchsia hair wouldn't respect the dress code there so as soon as I got fired the first thing I did was going straight to the supermarket and I bought the bleach and the semi-permanent hair dye it was an amazing feeling I, I was able to do what I wanted with my own hair and for me it was just like finding something positive in a very negative situation like getting fired now let's move on to some important tips first of all don't forget to test the bleach and the hair dye to see if you're allergic to them, especially if you want to dye all of your hair. Second, use clothes and towels that you don't care that much about, even after the first wash, because as I said before, when your hair gets wet, it loses some of the color. Third, don't wash the towels and the clothes that you were wearing while you were dyeing your hair with other clothes because they'll just get stained. Fourth, always protect the surfaces you're working on. It is very easy to remove the dye from ceramic surfaces, but it is very hard to remove it from wood or plastic. What I usually do is I spray some degrees before I wash my hair and while I'm washing my hair, just to make sure that the sink doesn't get stained. So this was all for today's video guys, hope you find it helpful. If you dye your hair thanks to this tutorial, please tag me on your Instagram pics or send them to me on Facebook, Twitter. Maybe follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything you want. Everything will be linked in the info box down below. As well as my friend's Flickr and Instagram account. Go follow her because she's an amazing photographer and she deserves it. Also, don't forget to check out my blog, A Loser Like Me, where you'll find all the pics and the full post about this video. And that's all. Ciao, ciao. See you soon. Hand in hand, we'll